Hello everyone. So today my video is kind of honoring the new pack. Now, it doesn't come out for another month and yesterday, or at least yesterday as of when you might be watching this, we got the trailer. So I actually don't have too much of an idea of what's going to be in this new pack, but I did see some of the leaks. So what I mean by inspired is I decided to build a romantic garden lounge. Uh, and I used the romantic garden pack, of course, and just kind of created a good date space, I think. So that was kind of my thought process with this. And it was more of... I wanted to do something I haven't done. And I don't think I've actually built a lounge ever. I might be wrong. I may have done one. But uh, it's not something I normally do. I like to do the bars. I'll do like karaoke bar every once in a while. But I really haven't done a lounge. So I did this. And I, I think it turned out pretty cool. Now, when I do say that I didn't do a lounge, I have done lots that can be a lounge, but not a lounge specifically. So, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I tried not to make it too extravagant, but I definitely have, you know, a lot of romantic garden in here and I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm I'm fairly happy with it. I've play tested it a couple times now with a couple of different sims and it worked pretty well. Hopefully it will work well with the new pack <laughs> because we know how that works. I also wanted to create little areas for your sims to, you know, go on their date. But that being said, this bar area, which is, you know, kind of what this is, is more of like a bar dining area. Um, all of the tables are just for two people. But I did want to create a social space because... Uh, if the leaks are to be believed, we should be able to have like a singles bar, singles lounge, that type of thing. Um, and that that makes me happy. I like that idea and I'm hoping that that is actually going to be in there and work out pretty well. But we'll see. So... Anyway, with this lounge, I decided to do this circular bar. Well, circular as much as you can in The Sims. But decided to do this, and I really love how this turned out. Now, yes, there are two bars. You will probably only have one bartender at the bar at a time. But you can always hire another one if you want that look of two, you know, two bartenders. I also, like I said, wanted to create a date space. So not only is there, you know, the standard like bar dining area, there's their activities that your Sims can enjoy. And though I did fill this lot up pretty well, I tried to leave a few little spaces so that if there's something in the new pack that you want to add, uh, you should be able to do that fairly easily. Not knowing what exactly is in it, I can't uh, guarantee it, but I'm hoping there's you know, some space for anything new that they decide they want to put in. And I also wanted to create just kind of a, I don't know, very plant-focused entry over there and just indoor area so there are some plants that I throw in 
You can see I struggled a lot with how I was going to have this look. Originally, I thought red would be cool. And so all the tables turned red. I changed that later on. Um, the other thing I struggled with was curtains. I actually cut out the majority of my curtain. Um, how should I put this? My experiments? <laughs> Uh, we really need more curtains that fit these windows better. But I did find some that work. So that's okay. Um, also, you'll notice this speed build is a little bit slower than some of my others. Trying that out, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it all to be the same speed and slower or... or if you like having like the build sped up a little bit more and then when I decorate, I slow that down. I have been doing the same speed for my builds if they're shorter builds and this one actually ended up being somewhat shorter. So I decided to do that. That's it. That's all there is. All right. So outside here, I wanted like cover over this area and it's it's another area with some seating and tables and things like that I will say playing wise if that annoys you just remove those I wanted the look it wasn't horrible but yeah I didn't spend as much time under there as I thought I would, so, so yeah. All right, so I also do want to apologize if my voice sounds funny. I've been dealing with allergies, and my my throat hates me, so we're going to go with that. So yeah, if I sound a little weird or you notice I'm taking more breaks than normal, that's why. All right, so I do want to point out, I have no idea how I got the fireplace to sit there. I just did it, and I left it alone. So hopefully when you download it, it will stay there and work. I did try to add it into a lot, and it worked fine. So hopefully that'll stay there, because I don't know how I managed to get a fireplace that goes on the wall to float but I did and I'm kind of proud of myself but I don't know if I can ever replicate it again <laughs> so you know in case you're wondering I mean if it does give you a problem stick a wall behind it not a big deal so the other thing with this is just kind of trying to create these spaces where your sims can kind of gather, chat. Because I'm hoping this singles, you know, lot type, or, you know, where I guess it's supposed to be maybe where singles are more likely to show up, will help create some, some good conversations and you can get to know other sims easier. So I wanted to create these areas where you could chat. Or, you know, just interact in general. So that is what's mostly under that covered area. This covered area that I am working on currently is actually going to be a dance pavilion. So we have dance floor and there's a DJ booth that's there. I just wanted to create, you know, a cool little area that your Sims can go and enjoy. Now, I do realize I built this in city living. Oh, I'm so San Machuno. Sorry, I cannot talk today. I know there's weather. My advice would be maybe to add a heater to that stage area if you need to. The fireplace should cover it, which is part of the reason I put a fireplace in. If it doesn't, heaters work great, or, you know, add another fireplace in somewhere. 
yeah, the only downside to all that, if you want to use some of these lots that have a lot of outdoor activities, but it's supposed to be a garden lounge, so it had to have a lot of outside stuff, right? All right, so here I wanted to create a cute like bar back, but I also thought it might be kind of cute to have a spot that maybe you could take some selfies together that would have a cute background. So that's kind of what that is for. It worked out okay. Um, you know how the Sims work. Sometimes they pose correctly, and most of the time they don't. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it worked okay. It wasn't too bad. It, I'll, you know, it, it, take it or leave it, I guess, is what I'm going with this one. So, the other thing that is interesting with this build is that... The stairs to go upstairs are actually outside. I just forgot to put a spot inside and I didn't want to redo everything. All right, so out in this garden area, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. As you can see, I'm just kind of playing with some different things trying to figure out pathing and how I wanted things to go. I, I struggled. I probably tried doing this about eight or nine times just to try to get this all figured out. And it kind of worked. And eventually I got it to where I wanted it. As you can see. But yeah, the pathing was a struggle. Sometimes I can nail it right away. Other times, no, not so much. So, so yeah, so now it's just kind of putting in some landscaping and getting that done because, you know, garden. So that's a big part of this build. What I want to know is, are you guys excited for this path? I'm hoping that it lives up to the hype of the trailer that was put out. And I'm hoping it'll it'll bring some fun gameplay. I, I think we need that. I mean, I'm all about build mode as well, so I'm excited to see what that has. I'm also excited for the new, I think it's supposed to be South American World. So that'll be very fun. I can't remember if it's South American or Middle America, but I think I heard it was South American. So excited about that. And I'm hoping it brings in some more fun build stuff that I can play with. Just saying. All right, so this area here, another stage. This is just for performances, you know, that type of deal and a little picnic area over by the tree here. So I've got a, a picnic blanket. I didn't put a basket down. I just forgot, to be honest. So, sorry. But I think we're supposed to get a new picnic basket in the kit, or in the kit, in the pack anyway. So, you know, add that one in because I think that's going to be better than the one from, I think it's Cottage Living that has the other, the other picnic basket. So, all right. So I did want to add quite a few like fountains in. So, because we are talk talking about a garden, right? So adding in another fountain and of course, you know, all the landscaping. So besides having these kind of cute, areas I did try to create some more private areas as well so you'll see those here I decided to put a fountain in and I I struggled with this too because part of me said let's do you know this type of fountain and then part of me was like let's do a different type of fountain and yeah I I just went a little 
nuts trying to figure out how I wanted to do all this. But I figure it out eventually. I was sad that I really couldn't get that willow to work. I wanted it to. Exactly. But it was about here that I started to realize a tree back there probably wouldn't work very well. But I kept trying. <laughs> and uh, eventually I gave up. And I do like what I ended up doing, so you'll see that. I really wanted to keep the bushes there. I just like how they framed everything. So I ended up doing this nice little area with the romantic garden pack. Not what you just saw. <laughs> As you could see, I moved that over and I like how this turned out. Now I will say the lighting might not be your taste. Those lights from the Romantic Garden Pack are large, but I think it worked out pretty well. I also just kind of kept playing with things. With this build and with landscaping in general, sometimes it takes three or four different tries to get it, you know, how you want it, but I figured it out eventually. I think I did okay. I was trying not to go too crazy with landscaping. I mean, yes, it's a garden, but you know, it's only going to look really pretty in the spring and summer. <laughs> so, so I didn't want to go too crazy. But I think I pulled off a pretty cool looking build with a lot of great spaces for your Sims to cozy up. We're gonna we're gonna go that route. And I'm hoping more of you have this romantic garden kit because it was free at one point. So that's the other reason I decided to go all out with that kit is that it was free. And I think it'll work well with this pack. So hopefully. So here I'm creating another little area that you can go and chat with your Sims and hopefully, you know, people won't bother you too much. I did struggle with it because I really wanted to do something to cover that wall. And I don't know why. The wall's pretty. But eventually I gave up on that idea and just let it be because, yeah, that was the best way to do it. I really don't know what I was thinking. Like, I kept trying to cover it up. I cut a lot of it out. But you can see here. I left some in just so you could see my insanity. But it's okay. Lesson learned. I did cover it up a little bit by this dance floor. Uh, mostly to keep your sims from trying to walk down there. Um, I didn't want... I didn't want that. So... I did want this cute little bench area here and I struggled a bit with trying to figure out how to landscape it, but I think adding those little flowers really helped. Here, you might notice I go back through and redo the walkways a little bit. I saved, exited out, and some of my walkways disappeared, so that was fun. Then you can see me playing with the uh, fountain yet again. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I end up changing that fountain back. But, you know, we'll find out in a minute. It's It's been about a week since I finished this build up. And I've been working on a couple other ones, so... And, uh, yeah, so my mind's not not quite with it as to what I was thinking with these builds, but that's okay. I'm also just tired. I've been putting it over time and working on all this, so bear with me and my tiredness. Uh, the allergies don't help either because they make me tired, so there's that. 
All right, so as you can see, I did put the fountain back. I like this one much better. I think the other one was just a little too large for the space. And since you can't shrink the fountains, I removed it. Put the other one back. All right, so here I'm just kind of doing lighting because, I don't know, in my opinion, lighting is important in a romantic lot. So, trying to get the lighting right. I have decided we need the, like, fairy light things to be available as maybe a wall type or something because... I want to use them all the time, and half the time I don't plan my walls to what size those lights are, but they look so cool. I love them. I do use them a little bit in this build, so I did figure out a way to get some of them in, but not, not as much as I would have liked. So up here on the second floor, I decided to make this more of like the entertainment area. So you have your gaming, you know, the fire pit there. And then inside is really just more cozy areas to sit and chat. Hopefully, as I said, this will work with what I'm understanding the new pack will have. I do want to say I struggled a bit to furnish this room. I really thought it could fit more into the space than I could. I don't know why because I know better but um, ended up having to change it out a little bit. But I like the end result. I think it turned out really nice. Ended up putting in, you know, some nice cozy furniture and then a couple of tables as well. And I think that just adds something to the space. And it's really just, again, to give you more options of places to sit down. Hopefully without causing any major issues in gameplay. As I said, I did play test this and it seemed to work okay. But with the new pack and the new things coming out with it, yeah, we'll have to see how it works. But, and as you can see, also, I've wanted to give that garden theme a bit more in here too. So the wallpaper's got the leaves and, you know, the artwork is very gardeny. Rug-wise, I struggled because a lot of the garden-type rugs are very formal, and I didn't want to use those. I also didn't want to use the one from For Rent because I use it in everything because I love that rug. But So I think doing the green under that sofa was, was a good choice. All right, so here you can see I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do with this section. And I decided putting these uh, dividers from the Romantic Garden Kit was a good, good idea. Actually, I think Romantic Garden was a stuff pack or something. I can't remember, guys. I'm tired, okay? Um, so forgive me for my, my misquote. But... I thought that would be kind of cool to create a more private looking space. And then of course, just adding in a few little garden elements, the lights. And as I said, they're not perfect, but they work. I think it gives a fun look to it. I also really love this fence. I think it, again, creates a really nice look to the upstairs area. A little bit of privacy, but you can also look out. You know, I'm starting to think I think of my Sims builds a little too realistically sometimes. So, yeah, bear with me on that. I'm like, you know, I'm picturing myself standing on this deck looking out at, you know, the view and everything. So, yeah, yeah, 
but, you know, it's supposed to be a life simulation, right? Right? All right, so again, more lighting, just figuring all that out, getting all that in there. I eventually decide here that we need some sort of cover over this little game table here. So I figure that out and it helps with the weird lights. So that's why it went in. All right. We are almost done with this build. Just doing a few finishing touches here. And again, I do really hope you guys download this and use it. I had a lot of fun building it. It's been interesting to play in. Really excited to use it with the new uh, expansion pack that's coming out. And I think it'll be a good addition. I have added this lot to my legacy game I'm playing and very excited to try out the new pack with it um, when that arrives. So I haven't been playing much. So I'm part of me is like, maybe I should just hold off playing until that comes out. But I have a couple things I can do before then. So I just got to find some time to sit down and play for a few hours. <laughs> so right now it's only been like an hour here and there and I end up building instead of playing. <laughs> All right, so here's the final front view of the build. And I really like it. I think it, it gives a good vibe. It definitely fits in to San Mashuno very well. So I'm hoping it'll fit into the new world. Um, we'll just have to see. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys look at all the fun photos and I will be right back. enjoyed watching this build I enjoyed building it for you all right I will see you guys next Friday I'm not sure what I'm building so we'll see what what I end up putting up all right you guys have a wonderful day bye now